what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel i wanted to show you what i got because the other day i ordered some stuff on amazon thanks to my mom's help and i wanted to show you what i got so here's what i got i got three in one of these arteza um watercolor pads three of them for really cheap and they all have 30 sheets so that's really good and I've already done some art in the first one, so let me show you that, if you can see it. Here, let me check if you can see it. Yeah, okay, you can see it. But, the first page, I think, is just me doing swatches. This first page is me doing swatches of something that I will show you later. And then I will bring back to this reference page. So, because I want to save that one for last because that's my ultimate favorite. I think I skipped a page. Nope. This is just me doing swatches of what I wanted to color a tree with. So, that's all that is. This is just me testing out my watercolor brush pens, which are right here but I'll show you that later. And then this one I spent a long time on. It tried to blend out some colors. And here it is. As you can see, I blended the inside of the flower, this part of the flower, like all the petals, they're called, I think. And I tried to shade the red ones and the pink ones as best as I could. And then the background is just the sky, supposed to be the sky. Yeah. So, I love that one. And then the next one, oh yeah, this is also the aftermath on the back of the page. That's how much it bled. And then we have my little paw print because I got bored. And, yeah. So I got bored and I decided to just use a whole bunch of different colors of the thing that I will show you later for last because, you know, just want to save it for last because I really like those and they're my ultimate favorite. Sorry, I just stepped on a pin in the floor and I went to pick it up. But, yeah, that's what I like. That's what I did. I get distracted easily. So this page is just a random, um... It's really nothing. Just got bored wanting to use my water brush pens a little bit more. So, and same with this. Then this is skin tones because I wanted to draw characters. So I had to write down the number of the colors. And so this one I also did with the pens I will show you at the end. It's a little leaf. Here's my signature. And, yeah. I think that's all I have. Oh, yeah. These are the colors I used in it. These are just the swatches I wanted to use for me to test out the colors before I actually put them on it. So, yeah, there's that. Now, that's the only one I have sketched in out of the Arteza ones. But then we have a water color brush pens. I got two packs of these, 24 and 52. And then... The 52 pack came with this and a bunch of these little coloring pages. And I colored this one, the pear. So I thought that was fun to color. And with the other kit I got, which was the 24 pack right here, I did a bunch of swatches of all 24. Since these are water brush pens, they do come with this little brush that you can put water in. It's kind of like a traveling brush. So, like, if you're out and you want to paint, you can just do that. But the 52 pack has a bunch of colors. It also comes with two. This one's already full of water. And there's a bunch of colors.
Oh goodness. Hold on. Okay, now that that one's packed up and put away, I want to show you these now. Honestly, I ordered these without even reading that they were watercolor brush pens, so I came and I was kind of expecting just brush pens. Sorry for the bad noise. I'm going to get these back in now. And then, second to last item is a black sketchbook that I've been wanting for a while. So, it's a black drawing sketchbook. It's got 40 pages, and I already did one piece of artwork in here. It's a little candy apple. And you have to use, like, white on this because it's, like, it shows up the best. Like, white shows up the best, but... I got plenty more pages left, so if you'd like to see me do a drawing in here, let me know. Okay, now the one I've been saving for last, my ultimate favorite, is this. This is what I did the colors in, in this. This is the swatches I did for all the markers in here, and then I did the trees. I did this with it, and that. So, also let me know if you would like to see me color with these, because I had a lot of fun doing it off camera last night. I usually don't like to color, but I consider these kind of off-brand Copics, I think. They don't have the brush nib, but here they are. I did also swatches for them. All the swatches are right here. So all of these colors are in this bag right now. All of those colors. And let me tell you, like when I first got it, my mom told me that it had come in the mail and I was out swimming. So... I immediately rushed in the kitchen, grabbed the box, took it back to my room, cut it open, and then just started drawing with all the art supplies that I got. <laughs> and, um, I'm planning on filling up that black sketchbook. I really am. Unfortunately, the Copic, well, I, I wouldn't call them Copics, but the Cali Art, I think that's how you say it, Cali Art markers, um, won't show up in this. I wish they would, and I wish they would have come with, like, like a plain white one to where maybe it would have shown up, but I don't even think that would show up, and usually people don't think there's any use for a white marker, so, yeah, I can understand why they didn't put one in there, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you guys subscribe, turn on post notifications, like this video, and share with a friend, bye!